Hey YouTube Rando here. So we're going to do another gun review today. Uh, now keep in mind I'm not a professional uh, in any way so it is what it is. Uh, I just know what I like to shoot. been collecting guns for a long time <clears throat> and this is just a recent purchase we picked up. I finally got to shoot it this past weekend uh, and I think it's a pretty cool gun for what the price is. Uh, this is the, oh hell, I'll have to look at the gun. Rock Island Armory arms core m206 uh 38 special uh it does not shoot 357 mag doesn't state it does anyway so i wouldn't take the chance but uh still a pretty cool gun for even if it is just 38 special uh fixed sights it's parkerized let me see uh price on this i got this one used for 200 bucks uh roughly right around 200 bucks new i've seen them you know, anywhere from 240 to 280, depending on what you want to, uh, what options you want with it, because there are different options. You can get a satin finish on this gun, uh, and it'll cost you about 360, so not cheap at all. Uh, 2.15 inch barrel. Uh, it's 1.40 inches wide. Uh, six shots. Let's see. Uh, the you can get the M200, and I, I believe it's a four inch barrel on this as well uh, seven and three quarter inches overall uh, you could also get it with polymer 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 can't talk today or wood handles um, I think I would like the wood handle better it's a round butt handle and it really does make this gun look like a uh, oh hell what's it called Colt detective uh, I believe it's called a Colt Detective. Um, used to have one back in the day. Can't remember exactly what it's called, but I want to say it's the Colt Detective. It's, it's kind of modeled after that gun. So uh, you can get it in single or double. 25 ounces unloaded, so not super light. It's kind of a heavy gun. Uh, spurless double action. Biggest downfall. This thing has a 10.10 .10 ounce trigger on it, so the trigger's not great. Uh, actually, it's not good at all. It kind of feels like you're. Uh, dragging a claw hammer over a concrete block or something along those lines. It just doesn't feel good at all. Um, I want to say the best thing about this gun is you're getting a 38 Special Wheel gun for under $300, which is kind of unheard of in the market. If you look in the market, uh, 38 Specials are starting out at about three and a quarter, and they run, you know, way higher than that. So uh, for what it is, I think it would make a good truck gun. I'll say that I'm not going to down the gun a whole lot in this video, but we are going to do a comparison. Uh, this gun side by side with the, uh, and you can see there, it is unloaded. I'm going to do a side by side comparison with the uh, Taurus Ultralight, and uh, we'll kind of go over some more specifics on what I think about the gun in that video. Um, the grip's not great on it. Uh, it's hard to release the cylinder one-handed. Uh, I think if you added the small round wood handle, that would kind of remedy that problem a little bit. Uh, it's just kind of hard to reach the release with your thumb without repositioning your hand. Uh, you have to kind of bring your hand up a little bit to get a hold of that, and then you have to kick it out, uh, kick out the cylinder with your other finger on the other side. So it doesn't have a great release, I can say that. Um, and again, we're going to compare that to the Taurus uh, in the next video we do on this gun. Uh, that should be about it. So yeah, I think we're going to add the wood handles for sure if we end up keeping it. Uh, like I said, I got it for about 200 bucks. So for a 38 Special, 200 bucks is unheard of. Uh, under 300, even if you buy it brand new in the box, uh, I think it's worth the 300. Or I think it's worth about 250. If you have 300 bucks, I'm just going to say it. Go ahead and save up a little more and get the Taurus because uh, this thing, the Taurus kicks harder. I will tell you that in this video. Uh, and this one, you know, barely has any kick at all because it's nice and heavy. It's, again, 25 ounces, so it doesn't have a whole lot of kick. It's a heavy gun. Uh, but we'll update you. We're going to run quite a few rounds through it, and then we'll come back and update you. Uh, again, I don't know how many times it's been fired before I got it, so... When I do my uh, 500 round or 1,000 round update or whatever we do on it, 
there will have already been, you know, quite a few rounds through it. I'm sure you could tell it's been shot before. I just don't know how much. Uh, not a whole lot of wear and tear on it, though, so I'm going to say less than 500 rounds, uh, if that. So when it's going to be close enough to 1,000 rounds when I say it's 1,000 rounds. So we'll call it the 1,000-round test on the update or the 1,000-round update or something along those lines. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.